Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make 38% concentrated hydrochloric acid. Now you may wonder why I bother to make it myself while I could just buy it at the store. The reason is that it is becoming harder and harder to find pure hydrochloric acid and it's also getting expensive. So the best solution for me is just to make it myself. In order to make this hydrochloric acid, you will need 98% concentrated sulfuric acid. If you don't have any, just look in the description of this video and you will find my tutorial that shows how I made this acid. You will also need some sea salt. Okay. And here I have a, um, a cap. With two holes in it the third hole is actually closed okay with a hose and here a pipette and i'm going to use this pipette in order to pour some sulfuric acid into the flask now make sure when you put the pipette that it is sealed so that no gas can escape except via this uh, hose okay so when the sulfuric acid will enter in contact with the salt, it will gener generate HCl gas. And we are going to bubble this gas into this water. And it will turn into liquid hydrochloric acid. Now let us just check that what we have right now is just water. Well, that doesn't prove that... It's water, but at least it proves that the pH is 7. Okay. I don't know if we can see on the camera. I'm right in the sun, so I can't actually see the screen of uh, my phone. I'm using my phone as a camera. Okay. But uh, the pH is 7. All right. So now we are going to put this hose into the water if it wants to stay in. All right. Come on. There we are. Okay. And, well, let's add some hydrochloric acid. Sorry, some sulfuric acid. So, let's take this pipette. All right, so my pipette is now full of sulfuric acid. And we have to put just a little bit of acid at once. Not too much because otherwise the reaction will become strong and some of the mixture may go through the tube and pollute the, the water. So we don't want this to happen. So you see now how it's bubbling? This is HCl. Well, probably some of the air that is still in the flask. But very soon it will be all replaced by HCl. Okay. So... Just pour some acid and the water will become, will become more and more acidic. And if you keep doing so, eventually you will reach a concentration of 38%, which is the, the, the maximum that you can reach. Uh, if you work under pressure, you could actually increase the, um, the concentration to 40%. 
but then it will become very volatile so there is no point the commercial grade is 38 percent so this is what we are going to produce Now here for this video, I'm not doing any calculations. We could calculate how much salt we need and how much sulfuric acid in order to get a certain concentration of hydrochloric acid. Uh, I'm not doing this today, okay? I'm just giving the principle how to produce hydrochloric acid. And now that my pipette is empty, I'm going to refill it and keep doing this over and over until my acid becomes strong enough. So here I just emptied my second pipette of acid of sulfuric acid into the flask. It's still bubbling, but let's check the pH. All right, so now it turns red. And we have a pH of about, um, it's hard to tell, maybe 2. So let's keep adding some sulfuric acid. All right, third pipette. And here is our hydrochloric acid, very clean. So let's check that we have hydrochloric acid. We know that hydrochloric acid reacts with aluminum, so here is a piece of aluminum. Let's see, let's wait a few minutes, let's see, I don't know if we can see, it probably gets warm when it reacts with the metal and as it re as it gets warmer it intensifies the reaction so I guess we have to wait let's see ah finally it starts reacting yeah uh, I believe that my hydrochloric acid is still not 38 percent concentrated yet because I think I remember it reacts much faster. It should react much faster. So it's less concentrated. But uh, all we have to do is to keep bubbling HCl into the water in order to increase the concentration. So the, the principle is working. Okay. So, well, if you like this video, please give it a thumb up. Share it and check my other tutorials. There are some very cool tutorials. Uh, I show how to make sulfuric acid, nitric acid, 95% nitric acid. This is very valuable because it's very expensive if you want to buy it. And um, even if you can find it uh, to purchase, it's not easy to get it because usually sellers will sell it only to professional chemists but it's very easy to make it uh, ourselves okay so uh, i also show how to make nitroglycerin uh, quite dangerous but very easy to make so just check my my youtube channel and i'm sure you will find something that you like thanks for watching